This video shows how you can find memory leaks with the memory trace functionality in EmbedOS. My name is Jan Jungboom and I'm a developer evangelist at ARM. Here we have an EmbedOS application with a problem. We allocate three objects in a while loop, so every two seconds, but we only manage to free two of them. This creates a memory leak. Now detecting that memory leak is not that hard because we have the embed heap stats for a long time, so we can print how much of the heap is currently being utilized. So when we run this application on the board, we'll see the heap gradually growing. But in a large complex application, it might not be that easy to spot um, where you're leaking memory. So for that, we've added a new API, the embed uh, memory stats API, that can actually track this down and tell you exactly where these allocations happen or which objects were not freed. So to enable this functionality, go to your embed app.json, the configuration file for your project, and add the section platform memory tracing enabled to true. Um, this will not log it anywhere, so we first need to tell the memory tracing library where to store this data. Um, in this scenario, we'll just be logging this over normal UART to the uh, over normal UART to the computer, so we can use a serial monitor to trace that down. When we now run this application on this dev board, uh, we go to our serial monitor, we first see the threads, and after that we'll see uh, messages from the memory tracer that are prefixed with um, the hash. So we can store the log file that we have here, and now use the embed find dangling pointer script to get an insight in which pointers were not freed and where they were declared. So after installing and find the pointers, we can call it. The first argument that we're going to pass in is the log file from the serial monitor, which I just stored. And the second argument that we're passing in is the L file, which contains the debug symbols. So this gives us, in this case, um, six dangling pointers of a total of 4.6K. Um, so we see the memory address here, and then we see the size of the pointer. So if you have a debugger attached, you can use this to actually see what's inside. And very helpfully, it also tells us where in our code this happens. So in this case, we see that we forgot to free pointer 2, and there's currently six of those dangling. So that was quite a simple program, but let's look at something more complex. This is an HTTP example using embed HTTP, or HTTP HTTPS library and it also does networking operations. So I've deliberately added a bug here, so we forget to delete the parsed URL object whenever the HTTP request gets destructed. And let's see how this is looking when we enable mem tracing for this application. So there's a lot more going on already, because we are dealing with the network, so the network interface needs to be instantiated. And after the program has stopped running, we can do the same thing, save the file, and then run the embed find dangling pointer script with as first argument our serial output and the second argument our L file. So we see a lot more allocations. Um, not all of them are bad, of course. Not all of them are dangling. In total, we have uh, 20 pointers active on the heap. Uh, for example, we see a thread that's being spun up by the Ethernet interface. Uh, we see the Ethernet interface instantiated itself, which is also fine. We have a res uh, Rx descriptor for the Ethernet interface. We have a transmit descriptor for the Ethernet interface. Um, another thread being spun up, this case, this time with 512 bytes. And now we find two dangling pointers of total 48 bytes. And that is actually our parse URL um, structure. And that is something that needs to be freed after our HTTP request is freed. What's interesting is that if you scroll down to the allocation after, is that within the parse URL class, we also do some allocations in total six times, 52 bytes. Um, and that happens on the C alloc line. And because we're not clearing this parse URL uh, structure, um, we see that those are dangling as well. So it's a little bit more than just the parse URL class itself. Then if we're looking through, we actually see uh, yet another C alloc allocation in the parse URL class. And then below we see that our DNS cache is now being populated with another pointer for a total of 40 bytes, which is actually okay. So, I hope this video has given you some insights in how the memory tracing functionality in embed OS can give you any insights in where you might be leaking memory. Thank you.